Hey everyone, in this video we are going to go over how you can use ChatGPT in order to normalize job titles. And so we see it all the time, people put these crazy job titles in their LinkedIn profiles and then you want to reach out to them and say, hey, you know, I noticed that you might be in charge of something over there. And it's really tough to get that kind of information because if you try to say that somebody is a director, you want to say they're a director of revenue, but then they have some crazy titles like some of the stuff in here, it really messes with everything. So with the integration of ChatGPT inside of Clay, this makes things much, much easier. And so the the way the advantage that we have now with ChatGPT versus just OpenAI is it was very difficult to feed examples to OpenAI and not have it think that every single title is exactly what we wanted. Like if you try to do it in OpenAI, it just gets a little crazy. Um, and I really can't explain it unless you go try it yourself. So what we could do with ChatGPT though, is we can stipulate exactly what we want. So I have set up our ChatGPT sequence over here and I'm using 12 messages because I, I really want to stipulate to it many different scenarios of uh, how people might put their title and how I want that to change. So we just go through and I'm going to walk through each individual one 100%. So the first message is the system. And so we need to teach it, hey, you are an assistant that is helping me simplify what people say their job titles are on LinkedIn. Just tell it straight up. This is exactly what you are. User, that's us. If we're, you're using ChatGPT, that is you typing into ChatGPT uh, in the interface. Think of it that way. So I put in here, simplify a person's job title. If they say their job title is CEO, we're hiring. Move down, roll three, assistant examples of the output that you want. So now here's where we stipulate to ChatGPT and we say, if you ever see anything like this, I want you to just say CEO. We're stipulating this, right? Next, if you ever see COO comma co-founder, what do you want us to say? I want it to say COO, right? And so I actually knocked two birds out with one stone here where usually people will put commas in between things. And I also wanted it to pick the more relevant title uh, that we're picking up on here. And so then we got, I told it, I want you to give me COO. Simplify someone's title if they say they're a director, comma, engineering. I'm stipulating to it. I want it to not only make it director, comma, engineering with lowercase letters, I want it to proper case it and say director of engineering. Then I'll say simplify someone's title if they say they are the president and chief operating officer. Again, I just wanted to pick president. Simplify someone's title if they say they are SVP backslash director of revenue growth and strategic development, blah, 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 blah. I want just director of revenue growth. Some people might argue with me here that he should be an SVP, but whatever. Uh, and, and so then the last one is this is what we're doing to just set everything up for our actual output. So now we're getting to the end. And now we're, we as a user are saying simplify someone's job title if they say they are, and then in quotes, I am mapping the field where we have, or the column rather, where we have the person's title. I picked GPT 3.5 Turbo, somewhat creative because I don't want it to go that crazy and we don't need a stop sequence. So now we'll just hit save changes. And now you can take a look at all the results. I mean, the results were there already. And so if you see, we have CEO comma founder, CEO. Uh, this one, there's just no input over here. So that's why it was like that. Uh, president slash founder, founder. Chief Executive Officer, CEO. I, I didn't even tell it to do that, and it did it, which I appreciated. Appreciated. President, President and Chief Operating Officer. Excellent. CEO, Co-Founder. That was one of the examples. That's fine. Founder, Founder, President, President. So these still work when they're good. A CEO, World Changer. That was one of the examples, but that's perfect. Um, let's see. VP of Enablement Sales. All right. Maybe we could do some fine-tuning on the, the model there. At least it broke that down, and it's a little bit better. VP of sales, we're hiring YCW 2022, VP of sales, nice. Co-founder and managing director, all lowercase, managing director, nice. And see how, I'm not going to read out all of them, but we kept going. And then if we just give it like one more example so you could see it work live, let's do this one. Co-founder and chief revenue officer, CRO. Hit enter, ChatGPT gets up, co-founder and CRO. Better than the scraped data for sure. Um, and it, so the great part about this is if you want to change any of them, all you have to do is just stipulate to ChatGPT, hey, when you see this, 
do this instead. And so this is a really good use case for when, uh, you know, users are asking us, when should we use OpenAI? When should we use ChatGPT? When you need to stipulate data or stipulate what you want outputs to look like, awesome use case for ChatGPT. As always, let us know if you have any questions.